So when you grab a small one, you put it back? Yeah. It under, is, under 15 inches. Yeah. So you have the measure here, will you? Or yeah, no? in my boat. What's going on, Abe? Say, hey, Abe. What's up? We killed them a little bit. Three hours, but we still killed them. See? Five nice ones. Eaters. Nice. Sugar sticks. So, three guys, how many of these? Fifteen? Five. Fifteen. Yeah, five, five or eight. Yeah, five eight. Canada, you can get six. Oh, Everybody really? Six we're having. If you got you, you got to find. Oh, yeah, ten dollars a pound. But, uh, yeah, these are good eaters here. These are really good. That is a half of a leg. This a lot of meat there. That's all your rib bone. Shut up. Here, you do it, Mr. Know It All. Listen, if you guys right can't play nice, I'm going to separate you. Oh, I'm going to cut them. Don't worry about it. That's what I'm going to play you there. Now you're gonna be nice and warm. Blow your roll for a speed racer. So this here, you don't have to get close to that. That's all your red meat. And you all cut that out, Billy? <clears throat> yeah, he goes right around it. What are you doing, punk? Hi, honey. <laughs> I know, I need a hat, huh? <laughs> That one's still flopping? Yeah. Yeah, we forgot the gill. Them. <laughs> this knife is a whole lot sharper than the ones we had yesterday. What are you doing, Punky? Shut up. You do it. You can swear to me, man. Can you hear anybody swearing here? Your nickname is the Butcher.
you can feed your pet raccoons in the back. <laughs> It takes a lot of yeah, it takes a lot of wood. A lot of wood, Jerry. You're on tape. Out of it. You're on tape. What up, fellas? How y'all doing? You right? Oh, you're good. You're all right, yeah, we good. Yeah, Jerry had him. You know, Jerry, Jerry could have had him run along before he had anybody. Yeah. You know, he's a pretty decent cat. Oh. I want me to not last night when we take him out there. Huh? <laughs> we always yeah. school him when we yeah, take him out there. He needs a lot more soda, man. That's I'm going back in the morning. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. Oh. It was horrible today. On the back end, well, we on the front end, you can stay vertical. Yeah. Yeah, the front's That's always better than the yeah. bag. That's why I always, when I've got my boat out there, I'm always catching the most fish. I told Jerry that. Jerry said, All you got to do, though, in the back is just every, when your line starts to swing out, just reel it up halfway and then drop it right back down. Yeah, I was. Trying I, to get him to I go could out have been done in an hour. Yeah. Out there. Did you bleed all those? Yeah. yeah. But uh, like dude, we had a few at the boat, right, right there. Got off. And yeah, How they. What? You know. Fifteen. Hey. Let me see how we do it the old-fashioned way. Well. I don't know how Jerry does. I know the guys that use the electric ones, they, uh, they do it a lot quicker, but, you know, he's a race, see? Nice filet. Throw it in a bucket. There's a rib cage, see? It's like that. It's like that. And through the, the anal, past that, you slide it in. Get all that good tail meat, looks like that. I never eat the belly meat. No? That's, that's where all your toxins are at. Mm. I don't eat that. And uh, like this. That one's still alive, isn't it? Oh, that one didn't get cut. Where do you guys use to cut them? Right, right behind the gill plate. Yeah. So you need to go in about a quarter inch along the spine, just like that. And then you go in right where the rib starts, rib cage, and you just follow the rib cage right up. For as big as this fish is, you don't get that much of a fillet, really. You know? So I didn't go in right there. Like that. It's like that. See, so follow that right down there. That's all belly meat. I don't even bother with that. That's where all your toxins are at, so. Yeah, just like that. There's a filet. Yeah. Kind of missed a little bit there. Okay. What kind of nice knife you use in there? It seems to be pretty sharp. Schrade, well, I got a uh, good knife sharpener. I can uh, get these things literally like a razor. Cut your finger deep if you're not like, careful. Follow that rib cage down. Right along the back like that. Down about a quarter inch. I use this knife. 
because cutting across the scales dulls the knife quicker than anything. Okay, I like that. As long as you get through the scales, you're good. Dark, dark stuff. That's fat, and that's where all your toxins are at too. That's a good size one right there. My knives usually stay sharp for about five fish. Even my good one. This is just the cheap one. I'll pay like eight bucks for it. Doing the job though. Yeah. Lay there. See, that's all the belly. You never eat that stuff. Just, just the flay. Seems like a waste, but I'm not eating toxic meat. Flaming y'all the fish. Yeah, I'm not that good at getting these out yet. Goes like that. That right there is. That's not a really big one. That's good stuff. See, there's the fin, dorsal fin. Cut that out of there too. Get these off. Whoops. That's a nice piece there. And then you cut the uh, the lateral line out too. That's a lot of the pin bones in there. You cut all that out. If you don't, it's going to taste funky. See if we can do a better job of this one. I 
probably haven't done too many of these, as you can tell. Fishing with Jerry Brewer, he's a f***ing horrible captain. <laughs> the worst I've seen, the worst boat I've ever been on, and he <laughs> cheats on the lake the entire time. <laughs> so, but overall, the day was pretty good. I got to meet a nice guy, Mike, his neighbor, but he's a complete uh, <laughs> Thank you. All right, my next. <laughs> uh, water was pretty calm, a little windy. <laughs> How was your, uh, did you enjoy being out there with your friends? Oh, yeah, I loved it. I had my three brothers out there. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know I can't put this on YouTube. <laughs> like, I edit, I stopped it. Send that to me, send it to me. <laughs> I'm going to take it to work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ready. All right, I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry, Craig. Let's go ahead. What's your secret to catching so many fish? Just you got to have a tight line, you know. That's it. You just got to stay vertical. Tell me about your boat. <laughs> it's a 2017 16 uh, 16 foot Pro Starcraft 75 like Mercury nervous. four stroke. Like he's nervous. Look, look. What, do you, what do you like? What do you like about it? Like he's ah, it's just it's a good he's boat. Nervous, he? He's nervous. Look at him. Seems like he's nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to get his neighbor. I guarantee. Have him. Get some we good now? There. We're good. That's good.